How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip, still at Oshkosh here. And today I'm going to share with you an airplane you're probably familiar about, but in a different variant. We're going to check out the Vashon Ranger. Stay tuned. Many of you have requested to review this aircraft. I first heard about it, I believe three years ago, and one was here when I was here in 2018. But this is the first time I'm actually up close and personal with the Ranger. Now, if you're not familiar with Vashon at all or this particular model, it's a fairly new aircraft manufacturer and interesting uh, story behind it actually it's owned and it was started by uh, someone who's already well known in the aviation industry uh, the owner of Dynon and his dream was to create an aircraft that's affordable uh, for especially for newer pilots and I remember the first time I heard about the Vashon Ranger I thought it was a plane that was competing with the 172 and I said no way but as I've been educated today that's not the case this is actually a light sport aircraft and it's not only a light sport this is also an instrument plane okay and I imagine you could train for your instrument uh, in this aircraft so when you think of brand new pilots you want something easy something affordable and something that actually can perform and go distance and that's what this airplane is you see me going around it what you see the design of it is there's nothing crazy about it it's a very simple plane design wise and also once we get in the interior which i'll show you shortly you see also that the ergonomics in there it's for the newest newest person to aviation you should know your way around but you see it's a high wing which is neat and the material for every single inch of this aircraft is aluminum the same material used in my airplane the sling tsi it's a fixed landing gear so this is a tricycle and when i'm looking at this plane i'm actually thinking of the flight design ctls that's the very first light sport high wing that i was ever introduced to but this aircraft looks more like a 172. you can see there high wing all the way I, I thought this was cool this big bar you see here this is actually the pedal tube right here okay but pretty beefy uh, wings here and your fuel tanks are also in the wings so useful total amount of fuel you can put in this aircraft is 27 gallons and with that you're going about 500 miles which is not bad for me that's actually ideal even in my airplane I most of my trips are within 500 miles so this is a 500 miles airplane let me show you that interior so you see what you're getting again this is a light sport so you know it's a two-seater uh, unfortunately the FA would not let you put more seats in here and also the max gross weight for any light sport is 1350 ish so let's just say 1300 pounds is about the max gross weight for any light sport and this aircraft uh, fits into that basket as a matter of fact this aircraft is considered a uh, SLSA so special light sport and you see back here you've got even more room back here the baggage compartment than you do up here which is interesting and you'll find this in a lot of light sport and that's because again with those limitation uh, you can't do much with it you just have the space which is pretty nice and if you can see let me see if we can scroll in you see right there it says baggage capacity maximum 100 pounds so you can't put up to 100 pounds of load in the baggage area here and let's scroll back out but this is where the magic happens. Now I'm feeling the seats and they feel very comfortable guys. Very, very comfortable. So you've got your two seats here, but this is the coolest thing you will find on the Vashon Ranger. Let me see if I can get them to turn this beautiful avionics on. Okay, sorry about that guys. We did have it on earlier, but we lost battery power. But let me sh just show you what you have in this cockpit beautifully designed 
as I said, there's a correlation with Dynon Avionics and this particular airframe. So what you got is the Dyna Skyview HD dual screen, 10 inches. And I've flown behind this avionics before. The picture quality is really nice. Very, very comparable to the Garmin. Because when you look at this, you're also thinking maybe the Garmin G3X Touch. Uh, and in terms of pixelation, picture quality, and even most of the functionalities, you get that with the Dyna Skyview. But you do have a Garmin here. This is the GTN 650, which is the main uh, avionics you use for your instrument. And you've got some uh, nice switches down here. As you can see, I can't even see any circuit breakers <laughs> in this airplane or maybe just this model. You've got some switches here too, but I just like how neat and clean this panel is. And your rudder pedals, <laughs> Pretty giant rudder pedals down here, very neat. And I'm assuming that this is toe brakes. But very nice, uh, more than enough ample room uh, for your legs. So if you're on the taller side, I don't imagine that this seat can be most. You see, it's pretty, uh, pretty stuck where it's at. So what's likely is you may be able to pull that rudder pedal uh, in and out towards you. And then you've got a middle stick here. I love, love this handle because I've got the same one. Very simple and clean. And what I love about this stick actually is how your hand sits on it. You really have to fly to, to know what I'm talking about. And just like any other light sport, you've got just your throttle and you do have a mixture lever here. Uh, I don't know, perhaps that's part of what makes this a special light sport. I could be wrong, but if I am, make sure you comment below. And your middle console here, really nothing. I'm trying to look for the fuel selector. If there is one, I see push fuel on here, cabin heat, cabin heat. I don't see a fuel selector, but there likely is one. Um, but also you've got some nice USB ports to be able to charge your stuff. But very, very clean sheet and very clean design, guys. Now, let me tell you some numbers, some performance numbers. This is a light sport, so you're not really looking for anything unusual. So this airplane will perform just the same as every other light sport you have in the market. Cruise speed expect 110, 115 knots. Again, the max range in the aircraft is about 500 nautical miles and you've got 27 gallons total. You can do the math there in terms of your fuel burn. So obviously fuel burn also would depend on your power setting. Now, this is the best part about the Ranger. Guys, even I was shocked a little bit when they told me the price. The starting price for this airplane is $120,000. I'm not lying about that. It's 120,000. Now, this model in front of me, which is the IFR, the instrument model, this will run you about $160,000, which is so highly, highly competitive. Okay? And this is not an airplane that you build. Uh, you're not, you know, putting any kits together. This comes ready finished. Okay? This comes ready finished, and the lead time is about six months from the time you put in your order till the time you get your airplane about six months. So I thought that's also pretty neat. But guys, this is the Vashon Ranger. I hope you all enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. This is your first time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. A great way to support the channel is to become a premium member or head on to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up there. I really appreciate the support guys and I will catch you on the next video.